Welcome back Silver Bull fans, welcome back to Silver Bull channel. Just going to do something a little bit different today. Going to look back at the early founding of Auckland. Uh, Auckland, New Zealand. It was founded on the 18th day of September 1840 at 1pm. They raised the flag and the ships in the harbour fired their guns. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Hobson had decided uh, Auckland and its isthmus would be a great place for his new capital. Um, they bought 3,000 acres of land there for about 341 pounds and uh, less than a couple months later the Crown sold that same land or just a small parcel of it 44 acres for 24,275 pounds not a bad profit that there's Hobson's grave anyhow they founded their uh, new city uh, at first it was just you know a small huts and a few tents as they started to uh, build a city out of the wilderness. There had been Marys living there before but unfortunately due to uh, the uh, musket wars between the Mary tribes the area had been um, largely depopulated from its huge Mary population that lived there before. In 1842, the Duchess of Argyll and the Jane Gifford arrived. They were the first overseas immigrant ships to come in Auckland. They really swelled the population. Uh, one of my ancestors arrived on that. He was only a 10-year-old boy. And uh, he didn't die till 1925, so he would have seen some amazing changes. Pretty much all the changes you're seeing here are changes that he would have seen. There's Queen Street, now the main street of Auckland. Back then it was a... Uh, cross between a creek and an open sewer <laughs> um, would have been fascinating to see however the city continued to grow and uh, it had it was a stopping point for many ships traveling around the world and uh, stopping point for many soldiers um, in the end 18,000 soldiers came to New Zealand to fight in the Maori Wars um, and uh, a city ended up growing that's Fort Street that was the main street of Auckland um, another one of my ancestors had a, a market there and an auction house, Samuel Cochran. The city continued to grow and uh, eventually, like most cities around the turn of the century, they got trams. So that picture still has dirt roads, but it's you can recognise the town hall, which is still there today, and um, you can see that that is uh, indeed Auckland. That is now where Aotea Square is. Um, all those shops there have been knocked down and it's a big square and an arts centre behind that but the town hall is still there. Um, eventually cars came along the scene, they started paving the roads, the multi-storey buildings and uh, from a small village which consisted of tents we had a big city growing. Um, Auckland now is a city of over a million people. That there is um, some of the farmland you can see from One Tree Hill. That's all gone now. That's all nothing but houses. Um, houses as far as you can see. Um, but originally it was little farms. This one's taken from 1953. I borrowed it off uh, YouTube. Um, I don't know who owns the copyright, but um, if you have a problem with me using it, just tell me. I'll take it off. Um, but uh, that's just a great little shot of a tram going up uh, Queen Street, Odie Hunger. And uh, now we have a massive city there. Um, in less than about 150 years. So not bad going at all. And uh, that's dedicated to my early ancestors who helped found the city of Auckland, New Zealand just for something different on Silver Bull Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think uh, to know who we are today, it doesn't help to have a look back in the past and honour those who went before us. Silver Bull Channel signing off. Keep stacking. If you want to learn more about early Auckland history, visit a little blog I did, uh, linky below.